Okay, thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me. We want to go over something here today. I'm speaking about Fortuna Silver Mine. And I haven't really made too many videos here lately, but um, this one, FSM, just starting to go to, had a feel to go through some um, search engine on my search engine and see what stocks are I know earnings are here for tomorrow on we're in April the 24th going to 25th I'm sorry 2020 and before we get started before I give a quick here I wanted to speak about uh, disclosure uh, this is for my practice purposes for my record keeping uh, this is not for any legal advice. You are to seek your own services, legal services in that regard. And here we like to just in anticipate the price movements and the directions more so. And with that being said, let's get started with FSM. And I'm looking at it here on the daily chart. Kind of give a quick analysis of this here and what I see here on CO. So initially it started out in well in this chart I'm sure it's probably been around much longer but um, the history for the data that we have here is back on 11. 2011 and it's starting out overall it's questionable if it's still overall in a sell or a buyer's you know, I would, but currently, I still want to say with this particular move, we're still in a buyer's area. Initially, from this particular start, we fell into a sale. We are overall in the sale area, if that makes sense to some of you guys here. So, overall, it's where it's very odd, but this one should be initially from a sale perspective but from the price of two dollars seems like seems like two dollars even so from two dollars even versus the actual four dollars or so four sixteen price we have a battle between the buyers and the sellers okay and and as we move closer to these two thousand and twenty price area and uh, the silver mines we have a down move that actually succeeded but at the same time it did respect the two dollar area that we marked prior back right so by respecting that we did not go below the two dollar mark in regards of a sale so this was an immediate come back into the price which basically means that the liquidating of the price here, the actual uh, supply of that was in a demand, much better demand, and we had volume to participate with that. So we had participation in the actual uh, charts volume which is a good thing to that actual price move on that two dollar response so that gives me more of an actual better feel for this here and as long as we can hold above that obviously and something that would not be an actual sale below and hold below the two dollars is where I would be more uh, to the downside okay so this is on a weekly chart and it's currently at 260, uh, $2.76 or so. And um, so we're having still progress to the upside, I suspect, to come and test up to that $4 or so. Maybe no time soon, but this may be an actual sideways, but a possible at the end at the same time should be up. Um, so once we get above all of that, then we want to see how it responds 
to the 594 area. Okay, so we're gonna make that red for right now. I'm sorry. And once we see it get a little bit closer to that, we'll we'll see how that works. So of course the green is for the bottom support, red is for the cell area, middle in, in the middle is for things that we expect to be broken. Orange brown there, okay. Alright, and I will leave it short and quick and sweet. Uh, let me go to a monthly before I leave here just to kind of get another quick analysis of it. I like to draw even circles to kind of give me my feel. Overall, monthly, we tried to push past the $2. We had support, uh, we had a wick, so we're having pressure coming from the bottom, and we have a continued follow through with the with the next following candle uh, supply versus uh, demand and um, so yeah so it, it looks pretty good too as well for continuing buy and we still in, in testing seeing how that five dollars hopefully gets up up in these areas here and how it approaches that to, to be more so just kind of getting something out there for individuals that want to feed off something here and play it on a actual conservative basis you have the overall basis that's more of a overall long-term view basis when we when we did that so so even getting in that perspective you, it you know you're we're talking about so this is weeks here every candle is a weekly candle um, so obviously we're expecting over some months, six, six, probably six month period or something like that, um, or maybe even sh much shorter than that. Um, it's it's up to it's up to how they move it. And um, so, but at the same time, that will actually give. You, let's say if we were actually in a weekly and a daily, then that's where you would actually some of the options that may come in play if you see some good price levels. Around the four dollars, uh, four ninety-five, things in that nature. But getting back up to testing these uh, four twenty area or so would be great an idea for anyone that has a good option price um, play. All right, thank you again. This again for thank you for watching and please hit that like button on your way out. Thanks.